There's a new trend going on in New York City, and restaurant owners are not happy about it at all. Citizen enforcers have the right and are, in fact, issuing tons of noise violations against restaurants, costing restaurants thousands of dollars. So is this really about noise, or is it about money? Or both. Seven on your side, investigative reporter Kristen Thorne is digging deep. These Midtown bar and restaurant owners tell Eyewitness News they feel as if they're under attack. For 27 years that we've been here, we never had this problem. They're getting noise violations, tons of them, from citizens working on behalf of the New York City Department of Environmental Protection. The DEP tells us two New York City residents are responsible for issuing more than 5,500 noise complaints against bar and restaurant owners since January of 22. Started out with a fine of 400, then went up to 1,200. It's money we can't afford. We have over 20 tickets between two restaurants, Scott. You've had this establishment for how long? It'll be six years in September. Has this ever happened before? No. It's, it's just strange that I didn't know where these just started appearing. DEP believes it's citizens who were enforcing New York City's idling law that got turned on to the noise code. In both cases, citizen enforcers get a cut of the fines. With noise violations, citizens can receive between 25 and 50 percent of the fines, which can range from $440 to $5,250. All people have to do is submit cell phone video of music that can be heard from a sidewalk, and they can hold on to the citations for as long as they want. The owner of St. Patrick's Bar and Grill says this one envelope postmarked June 30th from the citizen's home in Sunnyside contained four violations, all from March. We took down the speakers, no music outside, but you talk to the city, they don't care about that. They think it's, it's, it's the law. We cannot afford to get those violations. We hardly make an a living. Restaurant owners say they're being targeted by some citizen enforcers. He climbed up onto this post and he was sticking his cell phone like way up into the speaker and I said, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? DEP says Manhattan-based lawyer Eric Eisenberg is the number one issuer of noise complaints and has submitted 3,029 of them since September. <laughs> Eisenberg sent us this video as evidence, he says, of a noise violation coming from a restaurant. Eisenberg would not do an interview with us, but told us he's only issued a couple hundred complaints. He said in a statement to us, New Yorkers file about a million 311 complaints a year for noise, and the city fails to do virtually anything about the problem. Chronic noise causes anxiety, illness, and premature mortality. The citizen enforcers, in many cases, they're actually incentivized by racking up the violations so that they get a cut and make some money. DEP Commissioner Rohit Argarwal says DEP is bound by New York City law to pass along the citizen's citations to business owners. He says DEP is working with the New York City Council to draft legislation which would prevent citizen enforcers, he says, from terrorizing businesses. I personally think we should continue to allow citizen enforcement, but it's got to be shaped and channeled towards the goal first of getting businesses to comply, not whacking them with thousands of dollars of fines that they didn't know about.